Hey guys, I acquired something today from a pseudo family friend, Wayne, uh, which I know I never see this, but thank you, Wayne. It definitely, I give it a quick once over cleaning, but uh, it needs a lot more, and this keyboard is, ooh, this inner key. Something. Um, but this computer is a Packard Bell Legend 12 CD from 1994. Originally shipped with Windows 3.1, this one's actually running uh, 3.1 for work, sorry, 3.11 for work groups. It's got an Intel 486DX2 processor at 50 megahertz, 4 megabytes of RAM, and a 500 megabyte hard disk. It has a two-speed CD-ROM. A three and a half inch floppy drive, which I don't have any discs right. Like my discs are all in the breezeway. Got the monitor with it, which I am not going to attempt to retro write because one, I've never tried anything before, and two, I am not going to kill myself on this thing. Of course, see here on the there with another five and a quarter inch bay. I'm debating whether to add a five and a quarter inch floppy or a zip drive. Probably gonna go zip. But who knows? It depends on if I can find a five and a quarter inch with a beige f um, front panel. It has a Sirius Logic um, video chipset, one megabyte of VRAM, expandable to two. It's got your standard Packard Bell um, audio modem card with the game port as well. With lining now, probably some like Crystal or ESS audio drive chipset. That's got onboard VGA, parallel, serial. Might try to upgrade this thing with S95, and if I can find one, check in on like a deck talk speech card or something. It depends on whether um, the later JAWS versions for Windows 95 and stuff like that can use speech. I know the monitor isn't set up right, but it's the same turning, well, booting into the OS, which I do not know what is on this thing because visual impairment. But I'll first turn on the monitor. Things to out here. You can see a chair out there in the yard. Behind, the, like, right there's a tree. Probably can't see it. But anyways, <laughs> the guy that gave me this said there might be some games on the hard drive and like some tax documents, which I'm gonna because I'm gonna archive the games and I'm really ski free and Minesweeper, but eh, I'm gonna nuke the. Hard drive and either just do a reinstall. I'm making the factory try, but I'm more than likely just gonna chuck in like an, a compact flash uh, IDE adapter. But I'll turn on the computer. I know I need to adjust this. So I'll turn. Like I said, it's everything is way out of whack because I messed with the knobs. So yeah, I kind of can't really use it in this area until I adjust it, and I can't see nor do I care enough. Audio is plugged in, but there's no startup sound. I don't know if that was disabled in Work Groups 311 or what. But I did confirm the speaker does work. I presume the line out. I can just plug this into my phone and it's really pathetic. Yeah, I was watching an AS or 88 premiere. This cable goes too. Maybe like only one side's powered. Play. Well, maybe that's like a line in. A microphone on my thing. A microphone on the microphone. Christ. 
Got the desktop there with God damn it. So what? Let's see which of these parts here. Let's see how I'll pull it. Okay, we'll do it. Should I do it? Yeah. Reset. There's a reset button on the machine, but I don't care. So I wonder how this thing would work with a capture card. Like I said, I everything is completely wrongly calibrated. Let me see if I can bring that. I think I just made it worse. We get that startup noise. Yeah, do 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 do. Maybe all the sounds going to the CD bomb. Six CD drive. Where are you going, dog?
Thank <laughs> you.